Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Last video of the session for me. 6.30 in the morning now. Probably gonna die once or twice at Brittle Hollow. I, I Again, I... I don't think that this is the valid strategy. For one, I don't see how I'm supposed to launch myself up high enough to get on to the gravity road. Uh, secondly, I don't see how I'm supposed to slow myself down enough so that I don't splatter against it. But at this point, again, I'm, I'm running out of ideas as to what I'm supposed to do. I don't think I'm... I mean, I guess I... If, if I have to, if I run out of things to do here for sure, we're going to go back to the Ember Twins and... See if I can find my way through the cave system down there. It's like, that that's all that's going on anymore right now. I'm trying to narrow down... A bunch of the crap that I left. This is a bad idea going this fast. It's a real bad idea, but... Okay, so... The problem with this plan is everything. <laughs> Just about everything is wrong with this plan. I mean, there is... I'm just scoping out all of the areas around here. I'm like, all of these have energy... Just call them energy cannons for now. Um, but I mean, like, why is there so many of them? Why does it have four? Does that have something to do with it? Let's see. I'm gonna land here. Still feel like I need to go to the Hanging City. Got so much I need to do. The Hanging City. Okay. Gary. Look. Just get down. Don't need to be totally safe about it. So... Let's try to go to the left side this time. Apparently that's the way back. Maybe that's why there's so many of them. So, yeah, you can see the road up there. Both of those beam to it. Beam to it. Something up there. That's part of the hanging city. I need to, I need to go there. Just looking around. Wasting time. So. Watch that back. And yeah, that returns everything. Hmm. have to get to that part. Hmm. I see the, the window right there. Even if I did launch myself up through... Come on. What fuck with me? I'm trying to get a good view here. Have to come from this angle. Which means... Let's, let me launch. Let me try this again. This kind of actually worked. I would have more faith in it. Like... Maybe I need a closer angle to the black hole. We're gonna let that chunk go, <laughs> go past first before I just try to jump down into it. Bloop, okay. Okay. 
trying I'm I'm trying to pick up momentum here. No, not not directly into the black hole. I don't know where the the surface is. So I mean this kind of works. Ah. <laughs> Come on, that was so close. So close. Like... I'm gonna try this again without healing up, which... Is a terrible idea. Like, what if I get super high? I'm not talking about that type. Basically, run across the surface. Oh, that's way, way too much. Like, the biggest problem is, I don't know how I'm supposed to have to carry the momentum. Maybe I'm not hugging the black hole close enough. And again, again, this might, this might not even be a valid, viable strategy. Jump off. Try to run through it. Gonna go around it. Like, I'm not using my jetpack at all here. I want it to be at 100%. I don't feel like I've got enough upward momentum. For this. No. Okay. This is incredibly spooky. Something like this. I mean, that worked. If I wasn't almost dead, that would have been successful. Okay. That is a valid science test, in my opinion. I think that proves that it will work. I can't believe that, that, that this is actually... That this works. <laughs> oh. Man, whenever I do upload this series to you guys and start getting feedback on the stupid things that I'm doing and you can tell me if, hey, that's that's how the devs intended it or you are just being dumb and things are somehow working out. You guys are going to say, plump. There was a much easier way to do that. All you had to do was go three stalactites over and voila, there was a, a launch pad right there waiting for you. But honestly, I, I, after, after, after t trying that, I'm pretty sure that this actually is the way it's supposed to be done. It's just too damn convenient that you can basically jump down towards the black hole and fling yourself up on just the right side, I might add. And there is really no other way from what I've seen. Now, I'm guessing that, obviously, this is not how the Nomai had to do it. But, we make do, don't we? Come on. It is very confusing sometimes trying to find out exactly which way, which button I need to press in order to move. The correct way that I want to go. Bring the bridges down with us. And... Uh, the hell is that? Okay. I have been up in there. Uh, please don't fall into the black hole. Like, hell, let's get distracted now that I might have finally figured something out. Like, have I been up... Have I been up through here? These walls do look familiar. Yeah, I've... I've been in here, you know what? Oh, shit, that's... Oh, God. Upper hall damaged, oxygen tank damaged. 
I mean, I don't want to be stuck on this thing. I did want to pull this out of the black hole at some point. But... That point is not today. We're going to do a tail ass end landing here. You were curious. Okay. Um. Honestly, I don't think that's safe. Call me crazy. Come on. I'm gonna say, all I need... It's like, look, Plump, this is not a proper landing zone, okay? Oh, fuck, I'm gonna mess this up. Okay, here we go. This is not what I wanted to do, you fuckers. Now, the big issue I have is there's no way back through this. That was just... I, I, sh I knew better than to try and land there. Okay. See how close I can get to this thing. You can never actually approach the singularity truly, Plump. Like, ha why does the white hole... It does repulse you a little bit. Like, I can't get any closer than that. Okay. It repulses me. I don't have a cyanide pill that I can swallow, unfortunately, and I'm not going to wait in space until I run out of oxygen, so. The game patched today, and now it wants to take forever to load like that. Ignore that we're doing, doing this. this. This never happened. Never went to the interface. We've been stuck in this time loop the entire time. Last three minutes were just an anomaly. It's like, I just, I just wanted a shortcut. That's all I wanted. And I was told no. Getting much, much quicker at locating these places though, huh? Now, the real trick would be getting good enough to not even have to slow down and just dip my ship right through here instantly. Okay. No, come on. I've made it through there before without hitting anything. Why am I getting worse? Okay, so I can't land on that because it wants to be a little weenus about everything. There we go. I will say all of this stupid stuff that I'm doing, if you haven't noticed, is making me a much better pilot. So I've got that going for me. Um, down here, down here. Ignore the ignore the damn gravity wall. Let go. Let go of me. There has to be a quicker approach path than this. I guess I could come down from the top, huh? Just land on the surface and then take the elevator there down. That way I could con I could test this much quicker. Like, hell, I, c I should probably just make this entire video just stay up till 7, another 20 minutes if I have to. Hopefully, I can. if I can't get this in 20 minutes, that's just fucking pitiful. Okay, so... Let the big old rock chunks go first. And... The trick is just nicking that. Nope. 
Nope, nope. Okay. Oh, so close. Okay. I didn't take any damage. That's the main thing. I used about 20% of my fuel, though. Shit. Did not get close enough to the edge. Come on, come on. Don't, 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 don't. I can see why the Nomai were so terrified. Okay. No, this is bad. Come on, jetpack refuel. I don't have all day. Or cool down, whatever the hell you need to do. Ah, fuck off. My language just gets better and better. Uh, I'm not gonna go back and heal because it'll basically be the same amount of time as if I just died. And then came back. Okay. Like, I don't need to go too fast there. We go up. Now I can start coming around, use a little bit of boost. I need to... I am not centered at all. Somehow I got really far off. Okay. How the fuck? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back on track. Um. You know what? That's going to have to be good enough. That angle right there. Probably do one more pass after this. Yeah, I'm this is this this whole situation is just already foobar. Damn it. I'm not falling close enough, yeah. This, this has to work. I'm starting to second guess and doubt myself here. What's happening is I am not actually paying enough attention. I've got to, it's, it's all about the details. It has to be lined up. I can't be going at it cockeyed. Trying to fly through the window at an angle, because that just does not work. Okay. One of these videos we're going to get, I'm going to get as fast as I can go. And we're just going to smash into a planet at full speed, just for the hell of it. Okay, let's see. So instead of being... Foolish... We're going to try a different route this time. Maybe. Okay, not there. Explored that place. Not the gravity gun. I've explored that place, but I could probably do better. There's the crystal workshop. Where's the top of the quantum tower? There it is. Yeah, this is definitely not quicker already, in my opinion. <laughs> I could have already been inside and landed right next to Ryback. So... Go down. 
You know what? That does give me an idea. What if I jumped off from up here? Launch scale. I mean, it does show me. I would need to launch up, drop off on this side. Fall down. Hmm. So if I just fell down right from this side, nicked the black hole, maybe it would give me enough momentum to just launch straight up on my return trip and not have to do multiple passes. So, let's see. Basically right here, I guess. If I fall into the black hole again, I'm gonna end the video for sure. And I'm already like, how did I- how was my angle so good before, and now I cannot get a good read on the window? Rotten bastards. I guess if I keep failing at this, what- what we'll do is... This is going to be a failure. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try and go after the black hole. Uh, lift. And actually get inside that. There we go. That was a close pass. Come on. <laughs> you rotten bastard. That was so close. I just, uh, did not do my burn right. Okay. Yeah, 50% fuel and there's no good place for me to recharge at. Okay, I'm gonna continue picking up momentum. No! Oh, <laughs> yeah! Take that! I don't care if I had to bounce in. That works for me. What do you... What do you have to say for yourself? I know there's some stuff around here. There's better be. Where's my data disk? Because I can't really launch myself any higher, game. Uh, just so you... Just so you know. Like, that was... That was a good enough angle. Oh, yeah. That's great right there. I wanna... That's exactly what I fucking wanna do launch myself back like that. Okay. Might be a scroll. I better catch my breath, calm down. Here we go. That's one thing. Let's go check up here. Just in case. In case there's something else. There is. That's the quantum moon. Okay. Quantum moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the Moon's North Pole. Be curious on your journey. So, how do I... How do I get it on the North Pole? When we land, it's on the South Pole. I've got to lock the tower somewhere, apparently. 
If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to this star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upward from two differing pan planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became clear our clan's united goal to find and visit. It became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai, and carry their curiosity onward with you. This is all more and more and more and more starting to make me think that it most definitely is some type of uh, museum <laughs> exhibition thing. This whole thing, it's a simulator. So I'm not sure why there's two things up here. They're not going to be different. And I'm still missing something then. Where is the plate for the bottom floor? Is there quantum shit up here? Can't trust my surroundings unless I do it 360 several times. Just to be sure. Okay, nothing here. Okay, I thought I saw something shiny in that basket. Well, what that tells me is that. I don't know what I'm doing. There's nothing in here. Cha -cha -cha. There's nothing in here. Cha cha cha. Well, as much pain as it took me to get up here, I'm going to check everything. Why are you telling me that? Okay. The window right there that's good i know from the outside it's like a silver wrapping 60 seconds of oxygen fuck okay so we have to approach the moon from the north thank you for breaking my legs where's my ship that means where we're going right now is back to the quantum moon i don't know how much time i have left for the uh, star goes Nova. Ass assuming I can even make it back to my ship. Before I suffocate. I probably can't. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Exactly how I planned it. Oh, come on. Let's heal up. See you later, Brittle Hollow. I'll probably see you next video, actually. I'll say what I could do is make everybody motion sick. Where are you at, Quantum Moon? There you are. Now, one thing I'm guessing I like how it curved there. Uh, as long as I've got the quantum moon in a shot, it shouldn't particularly matter, right? Come on. I don't have to do what I did the first time where I was trying to continually launch it. 
and update my picture frame of reference. I just need to have it in the picture, right? Yep. Okay. Like I say, sometimes I just, I just love, just love making things more difficult than they need to be. Okay, and I think since we're here, I've got all the time in the world. That was fucking spooky. So, South Pole. That means that is not the North Pole right there. I need you... The North Pole would be icy, right? Okay. There's the ship that I'm tempted to take back. North Pole. I don't remember that being here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, leave that. So, got the shard in the cave. Giant's Deep. Black hole generator. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six locations. One of them being the eye. We've not yet been to. I don't see anything up there. Let's go. Oh, hey. I did not see these before. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location, which can only be found at the north. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Um. Aha! So as soon as there's no photons hitting my eye because my lights are off, that's fucking brilliant. We should be here. This should be the eye. Hmm. Okay. So... Emergency Scout Recall activated. I'm just curious here. I mean, all of this rock is quantum rock that we've seen. Actually, this... It does make me curious, so what if I close that? Interesting. <laughs> I don't think that this is proper, then. No. Okay, so the light from that... Is gonna fuck with me. You know what? This also does make me curious, then. Where the fuck does this tower show up? So has this tower been on every planet that I've been to? Or maybe in order to get to the eye... I've got to do things in order. Huh. This is this is an interesting. No oh, shit.
As soon as I heard the water rushing, I figured something was going on. I figured I was screwing myself there. Very good at screwing myself, by the way. One of the best, possibly ever. Uh, I am incredibly curious... ...what this all means, by the way. Oh, boy. So... Also, pretty fucking interesting and slightly ironic that I ended up here. Okay, so... Like, look. There's, like, these are quantum geysers. There's another thing. As the geysers move... They should reach different cave systems. Hmm. Which means I would need to lock this geyser into a specific location here. God. I can't believe that I'm basically, I think I'm 20 videos in, maybe a little bit more, and I feel like I've just now finally kind of got an idea it's always dark quiet shade across old bark in the ancient glade like is that that has to be a clue from gabbro right Talk about annoying. Gotta be quick. Hmm. I'm gonna guess that these are holes that it can appear over. The geyser, that is. Which means... Which means nothing, honestly. It means absolutely nothing that I can make of it. It's always dark, the quiet shade across old bark. The ancient glade. All across old bark. Well, where's old bark at? Hmm. Looking for a tree that is old bark. And then we'll get the geyser across from it, maybe? It's always dark in the ancient glade. Cry quiet shade. Across old bark. I mean, this would be the biggest tree down here, I think. Make it the oldest. Of course, of course the trees move, too. Everything's got to move. Which... Let's say if I take a picture of the area, that should... hold it in place somewhat. <laughs> Got everything right here now. Quiet shade, it's always dark. Cross old bark. This has definitely been an enlightening video, far longer than I thought it was going to be. Um, I wish I could return to my ship to check my clue log. But oh well. 
This is where I'm playing until everything blows up, apparently. The Grove Shard. Cross old bark, it's always dark. The quiet shade and the ancient glade. Does not actually help me, Gabbro. If you're trying to give me any clues. Quiet shade across old bark. There we go. Shit's about ready to blow up. Part of me is like, yeah, we're gonna have to spend an entire video dropping down through here and trying to map out if there's any secrets. There's gotta be at least one room down here, right? There's us, there's the Nomai. Two eyes and then four eyes. Or just two eyes above the water, actually. Away we go. Just hoping I could get it high enough. Yeah, there we go. Watch the show here. I say, what happens if I take a picture of the sun as it's blowing up, huh? It's definitely, it's not a quantum object. Apparently, also. Okay, those are snowflakes coming at me. Until next time, folks.